Welcome to this workshop on fuzzy logic control. In this workshop, we'll be comparing the performance of PID to fuzzy logic control in the control of identical heater processes. Uh, the control has been tuned to provide best control without overshoot for both PID and fuzzy. In this show part of our workshop, we'll look at how we're going to measure performance of fuzzy and PID in terms of integral of absolute error. We'll be uh, then increasing the set point uh, to both the PID and fuzzy logic control to look at the um, way we achieve set point in both. And then we'll decrease the set point to see the, the way uh, both control is a fuzzy logic and PID behaves. We'll then introduce, uh, clear out our integral of absolute error, set it back to zero, then introduce a disturbance in both an increase and decrease uh, direction and look at the uh, performance that is achieved for a disturbance uh, rejection there. The uh, process that we'll be using uh, for this workshop are two identical heater processes, one in which the temperature of the heater outlet is controlled with fuzzy, the other is controlled with PID. We can introduce a set point change simultaneously in both the fuzzy logic and the PID control. We can also introduce simultaneously a disturbance into both so that we can judge how each compares in the same time frame by looking at a trend in the integral of absolute error. This is the module that we'll be using in this workshop that has both fuzzy logic and PID. The temperature of both loops is simulated with a dynamic process simulation. The output is going to the simulation. The error of the fuzzy logic PID is, uh, is used to calculate integral of absolute error through a calculation block. We can reset the calculated value back to zero through the reset parameter. Uh, as you notice for the PID, we're also simulating the temperature. Its valve is going to the simulation, calculating the interval absolute error. The set point to both PID and fuzzy can be simultaneously changed through the set point parameter. The disturbance parameter is used to introduce a disturbance into both processes simultaneously, an unmeasured process disturbance. So we can look at performance both for set point change and for uh, unmeasured process disturbances. So let's look at our control online where it's running in the controller. In this particular case, the reset is set to true, so our performance index is being set to zero. So we'll start out at a value of zero. We notice that the fuzzy logic control is right on set point of 350, as well as the PID control is right at set point of 350. So to demonstrate the performance difference in PID and fuzzy logic control, We'll set our reset back to false, which means now our integral of absolute error will be calculated. And we'll change the set point from 350 degrees Fahrenheit to 400. And uh, as a result of that change, we have an error between set point PV. That means our integral of absolute error now starts to accumulate. And uh, as we can see here, immediately there's some difference between PID and fuzzy. Fuzzy having less uh, integral of absolute error than for PID for exactly the same change in set point. Oftentimes it's best to look at performance by looking at a, a trend of the control loops. In this case, we notice that the valve is in red. And for fuzzy logic control, more aggressive action is being taken due to the nonlinear behavior of the fuzzy logic control. This gets us to set point faster. Uh, so we notice that we are achieving set point faster than uh, with fuzzy than we achieved with the um, PID control. To look at the uh, behavior for a set point change. We'll go back to our 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, we see that uh, the temperature is approaching the new set point faster with the fuzzy logic control than for PID control. We can again look at the trend and we notice that again the behavior of getting to set point faster is due to the nonlinear behavior of the fuzzy logic control being more aggressive in terms of initially changing the valve to get us to set point. In terms of the uh, uh, performance index, then we notice that uh, there is a, a, a 
less uh, error using fuzzy logic control over time than with our PID. Normally this is about a 20 to 30 percent improvement depending upon the process dynamics of your process. Uh, fuzzy logic control normally provides improved performance where you have a lag dominated process such as a temperature loop. So uh, that, that's where oftentimes you see there's an advantage in using uh, fuzzy logic control. To demonstrate uh, the impact of a low disturbance, we'll reset our performance index back to zero. Uh, both of our control loops now are right at set point, so we'll um, start from the same starting point. And uh, we'll now set our reset back to false so that we can now start calculating an area of absolute error for both loops. And we'll introduce a disturbance to both loops, an unmeasured disturbance to the process. So um, as soon as an error is indicated, then both fuzzy logic control and PID control will try to counteract the disturbance by changing the valve to drive us back to set point. As we can see, the disturbance has driven our, our process uh, from set point in terms of the outlet temperature. And looking at this in terms of our trend, we notice again that the nonlinear behavior of the fuzzy logic means that we're able to counteract the disturbance much faster, attenuate that disturbance, and get us back to set point in a, a shorter time frame. So the uh, behavior for unmeasured disturbance is much more dramatic in terms of comparing one to the other uh, uh, than what we saw for a set point change. As you can see, we're getting back to set point much faster, and uh, our integral absolute error is uh, quite a bit different between the two. So uh, in this particular case, then, if we compare it, uh, the inner of absolute error is dramatically different uh, for fuzzy logic control than for PID control. So uh, again, uh, the amount of improvement for disturbance um, re would be um, based upon the uh, dynamics of your process, how, how much of an improvement on this lag process is fairly dramatic. When we reduce our disturbance again, um, then we notice that uh, the PID is slower in terms of responding to that disturbance. This is shown in our trend here, where we have dropped the disturbance. We notice that the fuzzy logic control is taking much more uh, abrupt action due to nonlinear behavior of the fuzzy and this means that we get back to set point much faster with fuzzy logic control than with uh, PID control. So I, I hope uh, this uh, demonstration has been helpful to you in uh, seeing how uh, fuzzy logic control can be used to improve performance. If you have uh, a lag dominated process that's characterized by a number of uh, unmeasured disturbances, then you can expect a fairly dramatic improvement in performance. Fuzzy logic implemented as a function block that runs in a module within your controller means that it behaves in an identical way to your PID control. So you can essentially substitute it for PID control and processes that would benefit from it. I hope this workshop has been helpful to you in understanding the way fuzzy logic control can be applied to improve control.